that that puts things into perspective. Yeah, and uh, that's incredible that they were able to make that many flags. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I know, with just seven last yeah, year. That's, yeah, that's insane. Yeah, but well, in lighter news. Yeah, did you enjoy the weather today? I did. Yeah. I, I actually, I was at Low Mill. What about you? Yeah, so I actually uh, got uh, the opportunity to catch up with uh, one of my mentors, James Spann. Oh. Uh, caught up with him earlier this afternoon. So, I, you know, I got to get out and hey, enjoy James the weather. Spann. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> hey, it's still pretty warm out there right now. Let's go ahead and jump out to our graphics. We're sitting in the mid and upper 60s. Some of us still even in the 70s right now. 72 degrees in Florence, 68 in Coleman. Right now in Huntsville, mid 60s, 72 right now in Pulaski, 61 Decatur. Fort Payne currently sitting at 69 degrees. Now for the overnight, temperatures will drop just a little bit, but it does look like most of us will be hanging out in the lower 60s, upper 50s for the overnight, and we will continue to sit under a partly cloudy sky. Now, some of us, especially more towards the north and west of the Tennessee Valley, uh, like Lauderdale, maybe Colbert County, seeing a few light rain showers right now. But other than that, remainder of us are dry. But for tomorrow, we do have a slight opportunity to see a few scattered showers throughout the day tomorrow, mainly in the afternoon. But some of them, of course, could creep up before the afternoon. Otherwise, we'll see a partly cloudy sky. But uh, check out tomorrow's high temperature. 76 is where we're expected to sit tomorrow. Now on Monday, we've got another cold front that's going to come through. And of course, with that comes the opportunity for a few strong to severe thunderstorms. So the Storm Prediction Center has outlined the entire Tennessee Valley in a slight risk for strong to severe storms Monday afternoon. So here's what we're expecting threat wise. A damaging wind gust going to be the primary threat, but tornado threat is very, very low, but it's it's not completely ruled out, so we'll continue to monitor this as we get closer to Monday. So let's go ahead and time it out. Here's midnight tonight. Notice continuing to sit under partly cloudy sky. Like I said, there's those isolated showers we could potentially see tomorrow afternoon. Some of us will stay dry for the day tomorrow, but here comes uh, the rain that we'll see on Monday. So Monday morning, we'll have the chance to see a few isolated showers ahead of that main line that's expected to move through Monday afternoon afternoon. The good news is though it's going to move relatively fast and by 8 o'clock a severe threat will be over with by then and we'll just be left with a few isolated showers still hanging around. Now uh, once all this is said and done it does look like next week we will be uh, heading into some cooler temperatures. The Climate Prediction Center does have the Tennessee Valley under the below average uh, category and I'll just go ahead and tell you next Saturday going to be pretty cold. We're going to be sitting in the 40s so enjoy the warm weather while we've got it. Seven day forecast looks like this 76 high temperature tomorrow. A few isolated showers. Temperature is going to continue to drop. Notice uh, by Tuesday once that cold front moves through going to drop us into the 50s. A slight warm up on Thursday before we have another opportunity for a colder blast of air on Saturday, putting high temperatures in the 40s.